Hi, I'm Marissa Kozlov. Welcome back for another eMarketer Industry Voices, where we bring you perspectives on how marketers are working through challenges and what they envision for the future of CPG marketing. Joining me today is Nadina Guglielmetti, Vice President and General Manager of The Vitamin Shop. Nadina, great to have you here. Thank you so much, Marissa. I'm so happy to be here. Nadina, consumers purchasing vitamins and supplements online increased by 24% last year. How did The Vitamin Shop elevate its digital strategy to embrace this demand? We really try to make shopping frictionless, especially between our stores and our website. So we did everything from improve our buy online pickup and store capabilities, our curbside capabilities, how people can transact. And it did wonders. I think our customers were happy. We saw the sales. Um, we really had very little disruption and we had a lot of growth, of course. The only challenge was when our stores had to be shut down in various regions. But even with that, we were able to overcome some of those uh, particular issues that occurred during the pandemic. Yeah, it sounds like you've made it a lot easier for consumers to purchase your product, especially with more people buying online and picking up in store, as you said. Tell us more about this online customer. Who is your target audience and how are you capturing them? Yeah, our target audience, unlike our stores, is a bit younger. It's still 50-50 male-female, which is what we see across the board. But because they're younger and they're online, they tend to be more value-oriented. So they're looking for promotions. They're really shopping across everybody. So we try to communicate as much as possible our value, that we're quality-driven, that we have the right expertise available for customers. We're trying to navigate health and wellness. And we also try to be competitive in our prices and promotions. I understand that you've done some recent videos on TikTok, and oftentimes great content brings about a whole new customer base. Tell us about your approach to working with professional athletes and social media influencers. Yeah, so we work with an array of influencers, micro-influencers who may not have a huge audience, but they're really niche and incredibly influential, and they're passionate about health and wellness and just staying fit. Then we do work with more mid-tier athletes. They may not be Olympic level, but they're very recognized in their field. And then we also do work with Olympians. So we have two Olympians, David Taylor, who's a wrestler. He just won a gold medal. He's amazing. And also Brady Tunnell. She's a previous bronze medal figure skater. She's hopefully going to the Olympics next year. Uh, and we work with them as well. And it's really about showcasing our credibility, how much uh, quality is important, because if you're an Olympic level, athlete, quality means everything. Part of your role also includes overseeing the Vitamin Shop's CRM strategy. How did loyalty programs play a role in your customer retention? Oh, our loyalty program is everything. And we have an incredible program that we refurbished a couple of years ago, but it's fundamental. We are a bit unique where 90% of our customers are in our loyalty program. That's different than most retailers. So we're lucky in a lot of different ways because it also means we have a lot of first party data. And that program also helps us um, keep our customers sticky. And we're trying to move to more of a, a relationship around behavior. So we want people to engage with us, but also to change their behavior and whatever that means to them. So if you're somebody who's trying to lose weight, how do we reward you for some of your success? As opposed to if you're shopping with us, let's give you some points. Well, 90% is huge. And as you said, you're collecting a lot of first party data on those customers. How are you using that data to improve the customer experience? Any examples you can share? Yeah, so we look at, especially for our best customers, we look at everything from what is their frequency of shopping, what are they buying, and more than anything, how do we personalize the communication we are giving them so that they're not just getting spammed by our content. And that's that, you know sort of the, the golden um, egg or whatever you might say for marketing personalization, but that's what our loyalty data does help us with. It gets us a little bit deeper on what do our customers care about, what are they trying to engage with? And how do we make sure that we're surfacing either a promotion or a piece of content or anything else we might have in their arsenal to help them kind of get to their goals? When you think about your future marketing strategies or partnerships, what new channels are you planning to test? What I am really focused on right now is more, how do I improve what I have? How do I begin to improve the orchestration of my communication across all of the channels I do have? Um, and then how do I tackle kind of the future that's cookie-less? We are uh, launching SMS. So that is one platform we're launching. It's not new or sexy by any stretch of the means, but uh, we're super excited. We think this is a, a good new platform to kind of weave in with everything else we're doing. 
What's next for the vitamin shop? We're franchising, which is really exciting. We are not a business that's franchised before, but that's something we're delving into. In the next year, we'll have hopefully several franchisees, and I'm really excited to getting those up and running and figuring out how to support these local operations in a way that we haven't done before. And I think just growth, we're growing. We're really excited about our business. We're thrilled that customers are very engaged in health and wellness. I think that's the positive side of the pandemic and COVID is that people are much more in tune with their bodies and what's going on. And we're thrilled to be on that journey with them. Well, it sounds like you have so much ahead for you and we can't wait to see all that's next. Thank you so much for being with us today and for sharing these great stories. Thank you for having me. And thanks to all of you for tuning into Industry Voices, new every Monday in the eMarketer newsletter. We'll see you soon.